Hey friends, Daniel here with the Lead Pages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. For landing pages, we offer the option to download the HTML file of the page to use on your own site's server, publishing the page to your own domain. During this tech tip, let's dive into the HTML publishing option. Now before we grab the HTML file of a landing page, there are just a few things that I wanted to note. We do recommend connecting a domain directly to lead pages or using our lead pages WordPress plugin. However, if the HTML publishing option is the best option for your specific need, it's certainly possible to publish this way. To use our HTML publishing option, you must have a web host in addition to a domain. We offer a dynamic and static HTML download Using the static HTML download will prevent analytics, split testing, and the page builder from functioning normally. Any metadata or tags you've added to your page will need to be added where you are publishing your page, as this information is not included in the HTML download of a landing page. To view the HTML file's contents, make sure to use a program that can read and display this type of information like atom.io or notepad++ for example. If your device tries to open the file using a browser window, Right-clicking on the blank page you see and using the view page source option should allow you to see the contents. In order to obtain the HTML file of a landing page, the page does need to be published to the lead page's domain first. Now that we've gone over those details, it's time to grab the HTML file of our landing page. To do this, under the landing pages section, we'll locate our page and then click on the actions menu to the right of it. So that's these three dots right here. Under the Actions menu, we'll click on Publishing Options, and next we'll click on HTML. And from here, we're going to be able to select which HTML file we'd like to download, whether that be our Dynamic by clicking on this button here, or our Static by clicking on the text here. Now, in our particular case, I'm going to go ahead and download the Dynamic HTML file. We'll see that download here. Just a quick note again, if you try to open this file, you may find that your device tries to open it using a browser window. So if I go ahead and click on it, it's going to open it in a browser window. Now, again, we do recommend that you use a program like atom.io or notepad++ to open the HTML file as they can read and display the file's contents. But if you right click on the blank page that we see here and do a view page source, you should also be able to see the file's contents. Now, once we have that HTML file, it's time to head to your site server to upload the file via FTP or paste it in via HTML. If you need any assistance with this, we do recommend reaching out to your hosting provider support team as each platform is just a little bit different in its setup. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me for this tech tip. And don't forget, if you have any questions, our knowledge base and support team are just a click away within your Leadpages account.